there is why we love, love jazz around here, because they do it so well. Yeah. So very well. Um, and speaking of doing so very well, um, they might have mentioned a time or two that we've got an award coming up. That's our Vanguard Award that we give out to the people in our local area that have done a lot for jazz, a lot for education, um, bringing up the young guys, letting them know how it works, how it goes, and helping them along the way. And we, we need that. We need that sense of community in the music business. And uh, our award winners we had last year, two of the guys who were on stage, Mr. Earl Day and Mr. Walter Taylor III. They were our award winners last year and come back and to help our award winner this year. Now, uh, while he's back over there, I'm going to talk about him a little bit. Now, again, I've got to read, so bear with me. So, Morris McCraven Jr., he was born in Memphis, Tennessee, and is a graduate of Langston University with music education and elementary education degrees. Too, whoo, that's not too bad, not too bad, but I like it, I like it. Morris moved to Oklahoma City in 1963, and over the years, he's performed with Preacher Smith, Leon the Demon, the Freedom Riders, the Fanatics, the Soul Messengers, Leon Nelson, Four Hits and a Miss, Heart and Soul, and Bottom Line Transaction. He's participated in the International Blues Contest in Memphis, winning the competition with Smiling Vic and the Soul Monkeys Band. Yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. No, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And uh, he's toured the Caribbean playing on the Blues Cruise. Now that sounds like a lot of fun. Was that a lot of fun? It was? It sounds like a lot of fun. And in 2001, he was once again in the International Blues Contest with Short Dog. Please put your hands together. You saw why he's so talented. You saw why we're giving this award. Please give a big round of applause for Morris McCrave Jr. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I want to appreciate uh, all the good love that's been given, and uh, it's been a wonderful ride. Uh, I've, uh, I decided to settle here in Oklahoma City uh, when I got out of Langston in 1963, and uh, you always, when you finish college, you want to know which direction you're going to go in, so uh, I got my first job here the week that I came to town, and so I've been gigging here ever since. Yeah, yeah. Outside of space, so, you know. But I want to thank everybody for your support, and thank you for the award, and God bless. <laughs>